Here we go. Elizabeth Sobek. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of the them robots. as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated yeah. to a specific purpose. Oh my god. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering Those are the challenge robots. more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just yeah. the start. The course. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these Hades pieces is one that of you'll them. be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about. And build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral <laughs> robots <laughs> for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. There we go. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stocks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. That was awesome. So, the whole earth destroyed, but then remade? Yes, by a machine, a machine of creation. Elizabeth did this for life, for us, but why Hades then? If it was part of Gaia, how'd it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh robot? And why does it want to kill me? And Apollo, the archive of knowledge, what happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead. Okay. Because, yeah, the names of the subsets for Gaia were all names of Greek gods and goddesses. So, Hades was of course one of them, but I'm wondering if Hades was designed to battle the pharaoh robots, but then came to the conclusion that it's better to join them if you can't beat them? 
So I was kind of right about a few things. So Aloy was clearly an embryo stopped in one of those vaults and then resurrected by... Uh, what, were they, what were they called? It wasn't really vaults that she called them, but yeah. Vaults of some kind. And that's where all the, the other people on the planet also came from. So the Karja, the... The Nora, every tribe came from one of these pods. And... But something went wrong. They were supposed to be guided towards the Apollo. But that never happened. And then the Spire was Artemis, I think. Was used to... Well, resurrect. Activate everything else. Make your selection. I will continue this... Uh, this conversation in a second. You are now in possession of information regarding the true nature and purpose of Project Zero Dawn. Classified far above top secret, as such we regret that you cannot be allowed to leave this facility. There are three options available to you at this point, please consider each carefully. Trained counselors are standing by to assist you in making your choice. Participation, you will be assigned to a sub-project team based on your area of expertise. You should be aware that the way forward will be difficult and the project's outcome is uncertain. You will be expected to work a minimum of 80 hours per week and your communications with family members will be strictly limited and monitored in real time. Upon successful completion of the project, you and your immediate family or two persons of your choosing will be transferred to the Elysium sealed habitat to live out the remainder of your natural lives. Indefinite detention? Should you choose to decline participation to Project Zero Dawn, you will be confined indefinitely. You will be given 48 hours to reconsider, after which your de decision to refuse participation will be considered irrevocable. Every reasonable effort will be made to make your term of confinement as comfor comfortable as possible, but you will not be permitted contact with the outside world and death within 18 months due to the Pharaoh Plague is inevitable. When the Zero Dawn facility is abandoned, det detainees who wish not to opt for medical euthanasia will be released. Huh. So the previous facilities we found were also part of Project Zero Dawn because they were waiting the, their they were awaiting their death. Or it was one of those those Elysium sealed habitats where we found our focus. Medical euthanasia euthanasia. The information you have just received understandably calls into question the purpose of continuing to live. If you would prefer to end your life at this point, pain-free medical euthanasia is available. Wow, that's grim. A 48-hour waiting period is required, during which time you may instead opt for participation or confinement. Please notify a counselor when you are ready to make your choice, or if you have further questions. Wow, that was uh, pretty harsh. Okay then. So they were given the choice if they wanted to help build Project Horizon Zero Dawn. Or just get imprisoned or killed even. For debriefing at the presentation too. It is vitally important that candidates choose to participate in Project Zero Dawn voluntarily and knowingly. Without additional coercion and without value judgment on the part of the counselor. Confirm for candidates that they were selected due to their skill sets and accomplishments. Emphasize that their dedicated participation in Zero Dawn will increase the project's chances of success. Frame participation in Zero Dawn as an opportunity to respond actively in the face of an overwhelming threat. Candidates may question the fairness of their selection, validate such objections as normal, even admirable responses. Emphasize the value of candidates' expertise to the future, not just of humanity, but terrestrial life as a whole. Likewise, candidates may balk at the morality of extending their lifespans and those of loved ones beyond Zero Day, validate their hesitation. Acknowledge that, while the reward of Elysium is, is not fair, it will be earned. If possible, redirect their ethical misgivings towards greater commitment to the project. When candidates challenge the plausibility of Project Zero Dawn, permit them to review Dr. Sobek's presentation as many times as they wish and allow access to supplemental articles G01 through P20. Allow them to suspend the interview to fully process this documentation. A significant minority of candidates will elect for medical euthanasia. It is important to receive this decision kindly and without judgment. Advise them of the 48-hour waiting period, during which counselors will be available to discuss their decision. Emphasize that euthanasia will not occur without repeated consent when the procedure is scheduled to take place. No one will be euthanized against her, against her or his will. 
Candidates who elect indefinite detention must be informed that they have 48 hours to reverse their decision, after which the decision will be final, I suppose. Okay then. This is really cool. So Hephaestus was the part that decided to make robots. So the robots we've been fighting the entire game are, as I said before, part of an ecosystem that is there to rebuild the planet and not to attack humans. So, which begs the question, why have they started attacking humans more and more? Because they started to do that on their own. There was this, um, oh, I kind of forgot the term for it. The the degradation of the machines was something like that so that the machines were becoming more and more aggressive and i don't really know why that is just yet there were a few other uh parts of the uh program that clearly just encompassed one type of machine so the oceans were purified by the snap malls the airs were the the air was purified by the storm birds glintox were used to well clean up robotic parts because we've seen them do that uh, constantly as well as scrappers and scrappers well glint hawks probably clean up the mess that was made outside of the reach of the scrappers since the scrappers cannot fly um but yeah let's continue our uh tour of this facility brad adlak and back again of course i'll do it to be given the opportunity to rebuild what i uh the the, the damage that i well I, I don't feel worthy of it but but i, I will do it absolutely I want to stress that this was never about your culpability. Uh, it is to me. Dr. Sobek, Margo, they were smart to get out of Pharaoh when they did, but, but not one of us took it as a warning sign. It just told ourselves they weren't cut out for the BTRI cabals. That's the, the better than rapid innovation. A better at competing, better than the next guy, a better killing machine. Isn't it just amazing how a century and a half of science fiction did nothing to swerve our species from the path of doom? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that life. I mean, I, I will work hard, twice as hard to earn this for, for my family to have a place in Elysium. I never thought I that there could be a uh, atonement. Wow. Or Brad, because yeah, he was just doing his job and thought it was well making something really, really innovative. So, continuing on, the next audio fragment, which is Suzanne Alpert, the uh, German environmental scientist. If you're still nauseous. No, the inhibitors have kicked in. I can't feel the back of my tongue. I wish I could tell you I'd believe in this. But the damage is too great, too extensive, too complete. With all respect to Dr. Sobeck's work at Miriam, no. No, life doesn't always find a way to keep going. Sometimes it never comes back. Like Syzygy East. Like the Congo. Like Timor. Like us. That's our reward? A buried city full of terminal patients waiting out the clock? You grow old together with your loved ones in safety. I don't have loved ones. I suppose I could start a family. I'm afraid not. All inhabitants of Elysium will be medically sterilized. <laughs> a habitat capable of sustaining a starting base of 2,000 individuals for up to 100 years is a huge challenge, Dr. Alpert. If the population grows instead of diminishes, everyone will be dead inside 30 years. I knew it. I just couldn't bring myself to say the words. I'm sorry. Finish it. Medical euthanasia. I want no part of this. I just want it over. I see. Protocols require a 48-hour waiting period, after which... Wow. So Suzanne chose to uh, have herself killed. And then probably one of the other ones we've heard before. Ron Felder, the aerospace engineer who was freaking out. Is he to make sure I behave this time? Security, for your protection. Would you like to discuss how you're feeling? Sure. I'll tell you. Alert. Surprised. No. Flabbergasted. Like my old man would say, flabbergasted. That vein pumping in his forehead. I thought... I thought you people were just completely underprepared for a spaceflight project. But now I can see it's worse. 
much worse. Sobek is a total fantasist, a, a dangerous fantasist. He's kind of blue skying. It's. <gasps> Jesus. I'm sorry we wasted each other's time. I'm ready to leave now. I'm afraid that's not possible. <laughs> Everything you're talking about here isn't possible. I recommend you read the documents regarding your options. I've seen enough. I'm getting out of here. No, you're not. What are you... You don't... Get your hands off me! Yeah, because if you didn't participate, you were locked up. Which is interesting. There is something over there in the back. It looks purple. Well, let's continue looking around here. I don't immediately see anything. This is a pretty big area. And there is something over here. Stranded shackles. So I've seen a merchant in Meridian who actually... Um, well, who actually gives you a reward box if you find all three stranded items. But I've only found two so far. Because in the previous one, uh, in the military complex, we found one. And then uh, we found this one. What the hell is this? Can I climb up this? Um, doesn't really look like I can. Well, what is this? I don't see anything. This just looks like a locked up piece of ventilation. Okay, let's just keep going then, I suppose. Get back outside, because we checked all the audio logs in here. And that's the next door. I'm kind of reorienting myself here, because this is a pretty big area. So we need to go further over there. And there's a lot of healing items in front of it. So I'm guessing we're going to have another fight on our hands. Yeah, clearly. Um, hello? Medicinal herbs? Yeah, that were two big ones. Here we go. I'm just gonna sneak, just just in case, just in case, because I feel like this is gonna. Intruder, get her. Okay Whatever then. you do, don't die now. How do these guys react to fire? Oh, he's still firing. Where the hell did he go? Yeah, I'm just gonna whack your face full of arrows. There we go. All three death. Is there another route? I've done this before. Just need my focus. Yeah, just need the focus, because we're going to have to do another power um, puzzle, probably. No, no, no. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't need the fire striker. Thank you. Just needed to check all this out. More medicinal herbs and a few more audio diaries, it seems. Travis State, so the, the hustler, now, I think. Those lame FBI black hats at Mockingbird back in the day. I enjoyed schooling them, but maybe I went in too hard on this poor counselor. She was cute, and just going down a checklist after all. Couldn't expect her to see how ridiculous Zero D's ambitions are. God's own budget thrown at a kid playing with a hologram sculptor? Palms up, honey. I'm just calling it like it is. Hey, look, Mom, I'm making nature. Now, if nature is so important, why not let nature take its course? Extinction? That's natural. Zero Dawn and no ma'am, that ain't. Heck, it's so unnatural it'd be called an abomination back home and you know it. That's why you're hiding it. Meanwhile, my little honey of a counselor, she's munching the inside of her cheek. Bad habit. <laughs> she chewed one of her nails too, just one. Not your day was it, little sweet pea. Saw her quota slipping away. Said I assume you intend to decline the assignment, Mr. Tate. <laughs> you kidding me? 18 months hard labor in exchange for 30 years lounging around Elysium watching porn? <laughs> Sign me up. Yeah, it doesn't seem like that big of a big of a leap to join in. Christina Suve. We didn't see her before. Zero Dawn. It is odd 
in a way. An expression on the grandest scale. But there is so much unfairness. Why was I chosen? Was it decided by committee? By algorithm? My family will be saved because I happen to graduate in art history? Is this right? Dr. Souve? Christina Souve? Yes. I met a man, another historian. His fields are Bauhaus and the New Materialists. But he once attended one of my talks. Another unfair chance. Of all the many people in the auditorium, that we should both be here now. And yet, I feel more accepting of my fate. No, it is not fair. Not at all. But for the sake of my family, for the sake of art. Art is alive. It must be able to speak from beyond history and echo in the future, not perish into oblivion. This opportunity, I must do this. Okay, then that's another one on board. And then this one, Tom Peig, so the, the Scottish man, I think. I hashed it out with them what the point of Artemis was. I made it clear I wasn't on board for a global zoo. We haven't exactly proved ourselves to be great custodians in the past few thousand years. So the idea of a reconstituted biosphere, well, it's horrifying, isn't it? A complete horror show. We have no right to take a best guess at this stuff. But the alternative? Nothingness. For there to have been all this and then nothing. And with Charles Ronson running the show, I respect him. He's got a passion to it. He's hot-blooded. So I said, I'll do it. I'll put my all into this, literally. When the project is done, I'll take the medical option, thank you. Counselor said I might change my mind. I told him that he didn't know me very well then. For life's sake, I'll do the dirty work. But I want no part of this pathetic, attenuated future on offer. I'm an outdoors man. Never did like the feel of solid state lighting on my skin. And a wee bit of a claustrophobe anyway. Okay, so he decided to join in the project, but he wanted to be killed afterwards, so... A few more puzzles. Another one of these. Need to find the right configuration. And then this one over here. Left up. Left, down, right. Hmm, so counterclockwise. Left, up, left, down. And... Right. Done. I should check the door nearby. Check the door nearby. Um, this one is not really working. Maybe there's a storage area nearby. Hey. I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. So there is another emitter up there, it seems. So a supply crate. There's something over there, but... Can I actually jump on top of that rope? Or do I need to come from over there? Huh. So I need to check the door. So there's a door over there. Yeah, there we go. Let's open up this door. Because this is not the door we're supposed to be opening, but... I don't really see anything for now. Ah, there's a ladder. That is really good. Up, up, and away. And then, of course, all the stuff downstairs, kind of making it hard to see anything else. There's the emitter. Found one. Looks intact. And now I'm inside the scenery. There we go. And that's where we came from. So the machines are over here. So there's a rope here that I can walk across as well. And open up this supply crate, I suppose. Thank you. Dropping down, uh, and now I need to install this thing. That should do the trick. And now, oh no! Wait, everything was backwards. She said. She said. So it's this one down. 
Let's put. I'm gonna put all of this uh, in reverse, and then one more time. So everything on the left needed to be no, looked up from down, from bottom to top, but then also mirrored because it was upside down and in the wrong direction, of course. So let's open up the door because I don't think there's anything else. I still want to keep an eye out for that last power cell I'm still missing. Um, where is the door? There we go. There's the door I need to open. Oh, shit balls! How the hell is he inside already? Is that even the guy we're looking for? They're here. No. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia, it's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? <sighs> so much for avoiding contact. Oh, she's gonna do something stupid. Okay, or not. No, 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 no. Nobody saw me, so I'm just gonna try and murder all these fools. Without making contact, so... Just go for precision arrows again. What the hell is wrong with my arrows sometimes? The sun can't save Oh shit balls. You won't survive this. I don't think you're gonna survive this. Holy shit balls. Boom! Seriously. Oh, there's more guys. There's more of these dudes. There! I see something! Yeah, you see something? I don't think he saw something. Now I'm gonna go for a triple precision arrow, because the smartest guy in the room apparently doesn't know where I am. And there we go. Or not. Or not. Or not. Indeed. Just gonna set that those guys on fire. And then just blast them with arrows. And down. Room's clear. For a moment, anyway. Then get moving. You have to find Gaia. Jesus Christ, can I get the power cell somewhere, please? This is starting to sound like I need to hurry a whole lot more than I thought I would. Oh, wow. There's actually a pretty nice map of this place. Um, but I wanted to go through my skill points because we've just reached three. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna go for Stinker, as I said before. There we go. And next up, we're gonna try and do the, the Heavy Strike skill. I'm gonna work towards that, because I do want to start killing these fools by just one hit. I'm gonna assume we're still gonna have to be pretty careful about all of this. Hello, I'm Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. Oh. As the name might... Just gonna read this first, so... From Elizabeth Sobek to Margot Shen. Margot, if I doubted your brilliance in the slightest, I wouldn't have picked you up as the Hephaestus Alpha. You need to stop worrying about your age and communication style. You are who you are. Have confidence in yourself. You know what you're doing. Case in point, the latest draft of your plan for the construction and stocking of bootstrap silos to store raw materials is excellent. This, combined with your design for the AM Foundry Core and the Foundry Site Selection Plan, add up to a comprehensive plan. It's time to start construction. One detail. Consult with Ayomide Okilo before you finalize the silo inventories. Inventories. Hephaestus' first task will be to fabricate the robots that will construct the waveform broadcast towers Minerva will use to transmit the deactivation codes. So any exotic materials needed for the towers should be accounted for in the inventory plan. So yeah. Tip you off. This is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. Oh, there she is. The last thing we want is to burden Gaia with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. 
waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots, and not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So, Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon, but hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes, time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. Which part? It's a little technical at places. If Gaia was designed to save life, why would the robots it makes attack people? Thank you. Perhaps That's the question I've been uh, making. Life more than others. The derangement. The machines weren't always so angry. True. Mostly they were docile until 10, 15 years ago. For years, Hephaestus has been forcing cauldrons to make aggressive machines. I've seen it myself, in the cauldrons. Stalkers, ravagers, a thunderjaw. How could it do that? And why? Why indeed. Yeah, maybe it were certain groups of people that were attacking the machines and therefore the AI thought of them as lesser life forms that didn't deserve to keep living. Or maybe it's a way to keep the population in check. But um, it's also something interesting that of course the spire is was used to transmit the deactivation codes for the uh, pharaoh machines. Which means that the spire is just transmitting a, a radio tower of some kind. Because Gaia had the time to, uh, well, construct those uh, deactivation codes. Wow! So from Margot Shen to Elizabeth Sobak. Wow, you weren't kidding about Gaia's predilection for animal morphology. So that's also a very interesting thing. thing. Gaia kind of had an affection for animals and that's why the robots all look like animals. Sure, not totally unexpected given the rough na natural terrain her bots will have to navigate, but I agree that there's something deeper going on here. Her designs aren't just functional, they feel almost like, well, tributes is the word that comes to mind, as though she's already mourning their loss. And not just for the disappearing fauna of our time, but creatures from the fossil record too. References to megafauna in some of her designs, so cool. Well, whatever Gaia thinks up, Hephaestus will empower her to build it. I just wish we could still be around in a century or two to see what she makes. So another interesting thing that this area has given us is a time frame, because the hologram, the holographic demonstration that we got from Elizabeth told us that she foresaw that the end of Project Zero Dawn would be uh, in about 315 years from the Zero Dawn event, so when the planet was no longer habitable. And that would be the point where the planet would be fully sustained again. Is there anything I need to check out? Because this seems to go... Keep going and going, but... I want my power cell! I really want my power cell. 